Hey guys, I have so much to fill you in on. Um, it's been a little while since I chatted to you guys about IVF because we weren't going to share anything with you because we honestly didn't know really what was going to be happening. Well, tomorrow I go in for my egg pickup. So since we've spoken, since we had the miscarriage October last year, um, in January, we did one round of IVF and our cycle got cancelled because the medication, I just, my body wasn't responding. And that was one of the things that could happen going through a low stimulated cycle because obviously I got over, ovarian hyperstimulation last time and ended up in ICU. So this time I went with a different company or clinic and they've been monitoring me and just going really slow and low. Um, Anywho, that round was cancelled after all the injections and all the medication and all the waiting, it got cancelled. So we are on to cycle two. Um, it's been really hard, been really sick, which is why I've been a little MIA lately. And I've just been in a bit of a funk because I feel like we take two steps forward, five steps back, and it's just there's always something. So here we are. It's been 14 days of injecting every single day. My stomach is so sore and so bloated. Like, it's, I'm actually more bloated than when I was pregnant. Like, I'm bigger than when I was pregnant and I'm really feeling it. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. Today's a good day. Um, but, yeah, like, today's a great day, actually. It look, doesn't even look bad. But um, normally it's, like, fully out to here. And that's just... Pretty much the medication um, i'm just upstairs on my phone hence why the quality is a bit bad but i'm going to take you along tomorrow may as well bring you along on the journey just so you guys know why i've been a little mia why i've been a little bit down and a little bit uninspired lately but oh yeah so going back to the hurdles and obstacles i got news so today's sunday on friday they rang and told me that we will not be able to do a fresh transfer so normally you get your egg retrieval done and then two days later the embryo is transferred back they fertilize and transfer an embryo back however some of my levels my progesterone is too high which means that it's not a good house for an embryo. The embryo would not survive if they were to transfer it with my levels being this high. So they will be frozen and we have to pay and do a whole nother round of IVF just to get an embryo transferred. So we will have to essentially do another frozen cycle once my um, levels have gone down. So it's very much a waiting game, but that is where we're at. I took my trigger shot last night and I'm feeling the feels, guys. My ovaries are so swollen they're so much cramping and pain and i'm just tired so i'm gonna go lay down but i will see you guys tomorrow hey guys it is monday morning i'm just about to leave to go in for the egg pickup feeling pretty tired and exhausted didn't sleep much just super uncomfortable a little bit nervous but yeah we'll see how we go they pretty much tell you straight away how many eggs you get so we'll know as we're doing it because I don't get put to sleep this time I just get like sedated um which will be interesting but yes we will see how we go fingers crossed we get lots of good little eggies so all done and we got eight eggies so that's very good um it's not too many not too little so we're sort of in the mid range so we've got egg eight eggs that have to be fertilized and then they call you over the next few days to tell you the progress of those eight. It was very uncomfortable but it's all done now and yeah hopefully we get some embryos at the end of five days. Holy moly. Yesterday, so today is, what is today? It's Wednesday. On Monday was the egg pickup which I think I spoke to you straight after they got eight eggs which was great and they rang yesterday and six had fertilized so six were mature enough to fertilize and six fertilized so they'll call me tomorrow to let me know how many have made it to day three and then they call Sunday to let us know how many made it to the blaster site site stage which is the stage where they freeze them um, and last time we had two embryos frozen and this little boy 
who's having his bricky. <laughs> He was one of those embryos, um, and the other embryo was the one we had transferred back in October that we lost. Um, yesterday, holy moly, guys, like, if you, actually, you would know, if you, I'll link it below my IVF vlog, but if you'd seen it, you'd know that I ended up in ICU last time after egg retrieval. I got severe ovarian hyperstimulation, the worst experience of my life, um, and I was really worried I was getting it again yesterday. Well, I have got ovarian hyperstimulation, but I think it's just moderate. Yesterday was horrible. Like, I was on my own with Hux and Jack was gone from like 5 in the morning to 5 at night. And like, I was couldn't move off the couch and poor Hux just wanted to play and kept jumping on my stomach. I look... I'm bigger now from bloating than when I was pregnant with Huxley. I'm so uncomfortable. Like the ovarian pain doesn't even bother me. Like I can't even feel that over this tightness and discomfort. And I just get puffed all the time. But I called the nurse yesterday and I had to weigh myself and measure myself. And then that got higher as the day went. And then I weighed myself and measured myself this morning and it had gone down to what it was yesterday morning so I'm not increasing heaps every day which is good but I still feel so sick so I'm going to call her this morning and see what they want me to do they may just say monitor yourself at home but the fact I can't even like pick Huxley up without it being painful and like moving hurts just everything don't want it to get as bad as last time so I think if we can get it early or just monitor me that will be better but yes I thought I would update you guys hence why I look disheveled guys I'm just I feel like crap how's your porridge this poor little boy yesterday just wanted to play all day and I couldn't and he doesn't obviously he's so young he doesn't understand oh my goodness but I might have to get my mum to come down tomorrow and help me. Um, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. Keep it real. Um, my body just does not like the IVF medication. And I don't know. This is why I didn't really want to do it again. Because I get so sick. And if anything happens to me now, like... It scares me because I just can't do this to my body again. So fingers crossed we get some good little embryos at the end of this five days. I would love if we could, if we had two, like that would be insanely just amazing. But I just think if we get none, like I just can't do this again. My body just can't take it. And don't get me wrong, I'm so grateful. Like the, the Huxley is honestly a miracle baby and we're so grateful for him. It's just hard when you're not done being a mum and you want you want it so bad, every part of you. And you just can't have it. Just shit. <laughs> Onward and upward. Hey guys, guess where I am? So, and I'm just about to have a shower, so they just had to bag the cannula up. And I don't want to talk too loud because it's early. But I came to emergency yesterday just because I wasn't getting any better um I was still super bloated lots of pain um hurt to move walk breathe everything so I went to the hospital and long story short I'm now going to be here for a few days hopefully just two and I can go home because I just really want to go home but 
they found, so they did an ultrasound and found fluid in my abdomen, which is what happened last time, but the fluid also progressed into my lung cavities and like all over. Um, at this stage, it's staying in the abdomen, but they're just going to monitor it and make sure it doesn't actually get any worse like it did last time. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. They're just monitoring fluid outtake because it's important that you are still like going to the bathroom and stuff and not retaining the fluid and doing waste measurements and weighing to make sure that's not getting heavier and worse. Um, but that's about it guys. I had to far like not fast, I had to I was nil by mouth, so I got here I hadn't I ate breakfast at 8 30 yesterday. Hadn't eaten, came here, didn't get to eat till 11 30 last night so 15 hours without food or water and all they had was a beef sandwich i can't have gluten or dairy but i ate it because i was starving like so hungry um so yeah that was fun definitely gonna get sick from that but because i've got so much pain down there <laughs> I actually and bloating I actually can't tell the difference <laughs> anyways thought I'd update you gals but keep you posted hey guys guess what I'm home whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> see jumping over there so I ended up having two nights in hospital and although I'm not I'm still bloated and still weigh the same and I still have all that fluid they were happy for me to finish my recovery at home. Um, I just have to take it super easy. So I get really exhausted doing anything. Um, can't stand or walk for too long. And yeah, just taking it easy. And today the lab will ring us with the final number of embryos. So we're just waiting yeah. for that phone call. But yeah, feeling okay. Feeling okay. Much better that I'm home. Still bloated, I'll show you. So, not much fits me, but, yeah, so I definitely look pregnant, that's for sure. It hurts, guys. It really, really hurts, but yeah, I'll probably um, update you when the lab calls, but just wanted to let you guys know that we're home. Pretty much, I had moderate ovarian hyperstimulation, so not as bad as last time. Essentially, when they, the follicles... They pop the follicles pretty much to get the eggs out. It's full of fluid, which obviously leaks. And then sometimes your body just can't cope with that fluid. And it, um, I guess, releases into your body, which is why I had it, all of it in my abdomen. But luckily, nothing in my lungs this time. So I'll put the description of what it is below anyway, because it's really confusing for a lot of people, especially if you don't know much about IVF. It doesn't happen to everyone. It's just my body doesn't cope. So yeah, this will be our last time doing it. So fingers I've crossed. Seen hey guys, it's been a hot minute. It is Wednesday. It has been nine days post egg pickup. I it's been crazy here, guys. I got to go home on Saturday, and it's Wednesday now, and I've just been so unwell. I actually got my mum to come up and help look after Hux and just help do stuff around the house. Because um, Jack obviously has been at work Monday, Tuesday, um, and Hux is at daycare today and tomorrow. So, yeah, just been recovering. Today's the first day I'm starting to feel like myself again. Um, my belly is feeling a lot softer, so I feel like the fluid's starting to absorb back into the body. Like, it's just been crazy, guys. I've just been in such a down mood because. One, you don't feel yourself. Two, you feel so sick and uncomfortable. None of your clothes fit. It's sore to touch and you're just sick of being in pain. Um, yeah, I was in a pretty foul mood to say the least, but finally starting to feel myself again. I've done a few jobs around the house today and now I'm just sitting down doing work and that's probably the best thing is that I can actually sit down and do all this work which is great um so I'm going to just finish this vlog and edit it so I can upload it for you guys and so you can just understand why I've been sort of a little bit down and out why my skin's been bad why I just haven't been sharing as lot as I normally share 
But yeah, actually, I haven't even spoke to you guys, I don't think. We got the call Sunday about our embryos. So we had six eggs that were fertilized. And out of those six eggs that were fertilized, all six fertilized, they called two days later to say that all six were still going strong. Little champions. And then they called Sunday with the final number. So last time, yeah, we had nine embryos, went to five, and then we had two at the end. So we were really hoping for two, really, really hoping for two. And then the lab called and we honestly couldn't believe it. It was, I just wasn't expecting it and neither was Jack. Five embryos were frozen. Five. Like, what the heck? Yeah. Anyways, super stoked. We are so happy. For now, it will be a couple months or a few months until my body's ready or even at a stage to do transfer. But for now, it's about getting healthy and feeling myself again. But yeah, we are so stoked with that outcome. We couldn't be happier. But yeah, thank you so much for all your love and kind words. We we honestly couldn't do this without our village, without you guys. So thank you so much. But for now, it's time to rest.